Welcome to Paint, Build, Create, brought to you by Arlington County Parks and Recreation. Today, I'm gonna to show you how to make your very own lava lamp. So let's check out what supplies we need and get started. First, you're gonna need a water bottle with some vegetable oil, some water, an Alka-Seltzer tablet, and some food coloring. All right, let's get started. When you get your water bottle, it should already be filled with vegetable oil but we're gonna fill the rest of it up with water. So unscrew your lid and then pour some water in. Putting the lid on just to show you that the oil rose to the top and the water sank to the bottom. Science is already happening here, people. We'll explain it at the end though. Next step is to add our food coloring. I'm gonna use this cool teal color of food coloring. Add a couple drops to my bottle. You'll notice that your food coloring will sink to the bottom. It'll go through the oil and just add drops to the bottom. All right, now comes the really cool part. We're gonna take our Alka-Seltzer tablet and kind of break it up into smaller pieces. When I add the Alka-Seltzer tablet to the water bottle, it'll sink to the bottom and start having a reaction with the water. Then you'll notice all the bubbles that make our lava lamp work. Just to show you a little side action, we have all the bubbles rising to the top and they're bringing the food coloring with them. Pretty cool, right? Remember, if you wanna have the bubbles keep going, just keep adding small amounts of Alka-Seltzer to your water bottle. That keeps the reaction going and makes your water bottle look really cool. All right, so how does all of this work? To begin with, the oil stays above the water because the oil is lighter than the water. Or to be more specific, it is less dense. The oil and the water do not mix because of something called intermolecular polarity. Molecular polarity basically means that water molecules are attracted to other water molecules. They get along and they can loosely bond together. This is kind of like when magnets are attracted to each other. Oil molecules are attracted to other oil molecules and they get along, but the structures of the two molecules do not allow them to bond together. Then when you add the Alka-Seltzer, it'll sink to the bottom, start dissolving and starts creating a gas. As the gas bubble, bubbles rise, they will take some of the food coloring with them. And when that bubble reaches the top, it'll explode the gas will escape and the food coloring will sink to the bottom. Then the process repeats and repeats.